Hello team, welcome to your 15 minute training session with moi. Today we are going to do seven heaven. I'm going to teach you seven moves that you can do with a chair and get really strong. Okay, so grab a chair. If this is too high, get something lower, like a stool, because you need to step on it. But you can also use a coffee table, okay? Anything you can step on that's steady, all right? So let's get started. Your first move, we're gonna move into it slowly. We're gonna step up. So before you step up, maybe we should step down here. So let's get down into a step up. So right leg forward, okay? Just kind of warm up that leg. Step back. Warm up the left leg. Stand back. All right, we're gonna take this right leg and we're gonna climb up that chair, okay? Climb up or the coffee table or the stool, something lower, okay? Keep the right leg in the front at all times so it's gonna burn out, okay? Right leg in the front. So when you come down, make sure the right leg is still in the front, okay? So that is your step up with your reverse, okay? Going into the other leg, you wanna warm up. Now you can stay down here or use the chair to help you get up. If it's too hard and you wanna get strong, you wanna get that good workout, use the chair to help you get up. If not, climb right up. Or just do the step up without the reverse lunges, okay? Step up and down. Up. All right, so that is your move. Now, if you wanna get advanced, we're gonna jump up, come down, and touch. You get real low, now this is super advanced. Down and down. Okay, let's go. Finish off this one leg. We're gonna finish another 10 seconds. Down. Now, if you wanna make the workout harder, you can always wear a backpack, okay? A backpack full of stuff. Finish it off on three, two, and time. So that right leg should be burning, okay? Left side, climb up, come down, keep the left one in the front. You can touch down or don't touch down if it's too deep, or just focus on stationary, okay? Whatever you need for you. Down, into reverse. I'm gonna do a full jump, and down, touch. Up, down, touch. Finish it off. We got seven seconds. Remember guys, you can always practice these moves again later. Three, two, and finish. Done. That was your first exercise. Get some water. Your second move is three mountain climbers and one spider. Okay. You can do it on your palms. One, two, three, and turn. Open up those knees. You can also do it on your one elbow. Two, three, open up, come down. You can also do it on the floor, which is harder, right? Go one, two, three, open up those knees. Make sure you are squeezing your abs super tight as you pull your knees in. You gotta squeeze your abs, okay? Don't just pull the knees in. Hello, friends. Hey, team. All right, so you can stay down here, super hard, or you can make it a little easier on yourself and get up on your elbow. One, two, three, open. Okay, make sure you're strong about it. Don't just kind of do half, half knee tucks. You want to do full knee tucks. Two, three, and open. If that's hard, get up on the chair. One, two, three, and really open up those knees. I'm gonna do them on the, ch on the ground because I like it more challenging. So we're gonna do another 30 seconds worth. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, open. Three, two, one, open. Really open and feel your obliques, okay? The sides, engage, be deliberate. That's how you get strong, okay? Don't just move from point A to point B. We want to work it. Two, three, open. Finish it up. One, two, three. Here we go, guys, three more. Two, one. Last one. And open. You should feel it right in here. If you're doing it right, you should feel it in here, okay? All right, get some water again. That was your second exercise. Practice later, get good at it. Okay, your third exercise. I'm gonna use that chair again. But this time, guys, you're stepping laterally, working more the inner thighs, okay? Up, over. Okay, so lateral step-ups. 
Again, you don't need to step up on something so high. Find a stool or don't even use anything, okay? Because it can be very hard for most people to get that high. Just go together, apart, together, apart. Okay, side to side, that way, all right? So pick what you want to do. We're going to use a chair or a coffee table. That's cool too. Or step up into the side. To make it harder, you can step up, come down, step up, and over. Step up, come down, step up, over. You can use a chair to help you if you need help. Now again, like I said, this is very advanced. So pick your poison. You might just stay down here and do wide squats. And that's cool too, okay? So pick what you can do properly in perfect form. Doesn't matter what you choose. As long as it's challenging for you, you're gonna get strong and you're gonna get good. But I'm gonna do this one. It's a little deep. And again, like I said, you can use a backpack full of stuff and make yourself heavier so those legs it's got to work. Those legs got to work. Okay? Got to work for the lean, strong, muscular legs. There we go. Finish it up. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. I hope your legs are burning, guys. I hope you're doing the workout. Your legs better be burning, people. Get some water. That was your third exercise, guys. We're going into the fourth. Good. Okay, guys. Fourth exercise. Low push-up jack with toe touch. Again, you can do it on the floor, which is harder. Or use your friend, the chair. Looks like this. Open. You're gonna go down, sorry, go down for a push-up. Open, close, push back, touch, push back, touch. Now, if you use a chair, it's gonna look like that, okay? So you're gonna go down for the push-up, do a jump jack, up, again. If this is hard, just go on your elbows and just do a jump jack, okay? Just do like four jump jacks, and then get up and touch, opposite leg, touch your opposite leg. Okay, keep your knees extended. You can do that version, or guess what? Just do it separately. Just do the push-ups on their own, on the floor, on your knees, and then get up and do, boom, touch. Okay, make sure you push your butt back and touch. Now the harder version is, boom, on the floor. Okay, we're gonna go down. Stay down, one, two, push up, touch, push up, stay down, up. So that's the harder version. You can do a push-up again if you like or no push-up, down, open, close, up. Again, you can do a push-up here or no push-up. I'm gonna do a push-up again. <laughs> and if it's too hard, like I say, transfer over. You can do the elbow version, right? When you get the elbow, it's a little easier, elevated off the floor. You can do that too. One, two, change it up. Don't be afraid to modify, guys. Finish it off. We're gonna get you to finish it off in the next 20 seconds. I'm gonna do the floor version, okay? You can do the floor version with me. There you go. Touch. I'll do another push up there. Let's finish it off, guys. 10 more seconds. Down. Five, four, three, two, and time. That was the fourth move. We're ready for our speed step up. Here we go, speed step up. Okay, Steve, you're gonna just step up real fast, okay? So it looks like this. You're gonna go one. You can do one at a time, or you can do two at a time. So two looks like this. You're gonna just speed. If you need to hold on to the chair, fine. Or get into something lower, like a stool. But speed, fast as you can. You can even mix it up. Front, front, side, side. Front, front, sideways. You can mix it up and make it harder. Whatever you like. But make sure you can do a proper step up first. Finish it up for five, four, three, two, and tie. 
I did a combo. Did you do a combo? How are you guys doing? Do a combo, sideways and forward, or just do step ups. Down dog spider, crossing your leg. Okay, so that looks like this. Go, push back, come in with a spider, leg straight. Push back, spider, leg straight. Back, spider, leg straight. Now that's hard, elevate yourself. Okay, push back, pull that knee in, cross it over, switch other side. Pull that knee into the side, cross over. Again, you can just stay down here and just do spider, cross over, spider, cross over, or just do one leg at a time. Just one leg for spiders, and then other leg after, okay? Do whatever you need to butterfly. Make sure you can do it right. Finish it off, here we go. I'm gonna go into Push back, spider, cross over. Push back, spider, cross over. So I'm gonna do this like this so you can see me. Push back, spider, cross. Push back, spider, cross. Okay? Finish it up, guys. Finish it up for the last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and time. Nice work, last exercise, guys. Hip parades, you're gonna put your legs on top of the chair. You gotta work the back of your body too, not just the front, right? So you're gonna put the leg on the chair, and we're gonna raise your hips. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings. Squeeze your butt cheeks right here, make sure your back is safe and strong. <laughs> inhale, and exhale. Really dig your heels into the chair and raise up, okay? If you have your legs straighter, you're gonna feel your hamstrings more. If you have your legs more bent, you're gonna feel your hamstrings and your glute. <laughs> you're gonna feel all of it if you're doing it right. Make sure you're really engaging, okay? Now if that's too hard, you can do it on the floor. Okay, just do it on the floor. That's fine too, okay? But I'm gonna make this a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna do it on the chair. Let's finish it up. <sighs> Squeeze, full squeezes, guys. Make sure you drive that heel down and really, really feel the burn in the back of those legs because there's not all the time in your day that you'll be burning the back of those legs or your glute on your lower back. Five, finish it off. Four, three, two, and squeeze it all up. <laughs> and you're done, guys. That was seven heaven. Seven exercises, challenge your Strengthen your cardio, all of it. I want you guys to get good at it. Do another round or two, okay? Make it work out a little longer. Have fun with the moves. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna see you guys next week on Monday for the 30 minute session. Until then, take good care of yourself. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, and remember, don't downgrade your dreams or your wishes. Upgrade your mindset, all right? Bye guys.